Australia is the driest inhabited continent on planet Earth, and it is home to the Great Australian Desert, which is the fourth largest desert in the world. After the Antarctic, the Arctic, and the Sahara, Australia is comparable in size to the United States. However, its population is significantly less than America's. The whole of Australia has about the same number of people living in it as the state of Texas. Despite the low population, Australia is one of the worst developed countries in the world for broad-scale deforestation, wiping out endangered forests and woodlands. In fact, they have cleared nearly half of all forest cover in the last 200 years. It began around the early 1800s when the British colonized Australia in search of land and fortunes. At that time, Britain had already been completely stripped of trees for centuries by intensive agriculture and war. Even today, the United Kingdom has one of the lowest percentages of forest cover in Europe. British timber companies were granted free access to vast areas of virgin forest in Australia, and trees were felled for agriculture and railway tracks, which were constructed alongside other transit infrastructure, such as roads, bridges and jetties. By the 1880s, concerns about stripping the forest were being raised, but no steps towards conservation were taken. And now, Australia has become the worst offending country in the world for mammal extinctions. 55 wildlife species plus 37 plant species have gone extinct. The widespread deforestation has resulted in 55% of all Australian land area being used for agricultural purposes, and around 72% of all agricultural output is exported. Meat and live animals has been the fastest growing export segment, growing 33% in value. However, Agriculture only accounts for 1.9% of the value-added GDP and 2.5% of all employment in 2020 and 2021. The widespread land degradation has resulted in man-made desertification after centuries of tilling and the introduction of non-native grasses has taken its toll on the landscape. However, some regions in Australia are starting to turn this around, transforming large areas of degraded land back into biodiverse ecosystems. By restoring millions of trees and in turn improving the lives of rural farming communities, as well as capturing over a million tons of carbon to benefit the planet as a whole. This can be considered a major accomplishment for any country, particularly one that has a low average rainfall of 16 inches per year. In this video, we will show you how a 200 km long green corridor will connect 12 nature reserves across 10,000 square kilometers. So stick with us as we dive into today's video. This large-scale reforestation project is in one of Australia's most vulnerable regions. Nearly 20 million trees across 10,000 hectares of degraded farmland have been planted, transforming barren areas of parched earth into forests rich in biodiversity. Carbon Neutral is a biodiverse carbon sink developer working on some of Australia's largest reforestation projects. This project is part of the Yarra Yarra Biodiversity Corridor in Western Australia's Midwest connecting vital areas of land in the Yarra Yarra Biodiversity Corridor. Biodiversity corridors are areas of vegetation that allow animals to travel from one patch of native forest to another. A corridor provides shelter, food and protection for many predators by imitating the structure and diversity of native vegetation. The forests contain 30 to 50 different native species. All of the seeds are collected from within 20 kilometers of the project area ensuring they are located and adapted to the area, helping to restore the native biodiversity. Soil types across the project areas have been analyzed, so suitable species could be selected for planting. It reclaims a lot of salt land and is helping to prevent wind and water erosion, as well as providing significant habitat for flora and fauna, including some of Australia's rare and endangered species, like the nally fowl and the Carnaby black cockatoo. The project aims to employ local indigenous people and is currently providing jobs for 10 people. Work includes helping with seed collection, fencing, land management and working with traditional landowners throughout the region. 80 local businesses are involved and the project has cost 4 million Australian dollars. The project is situated in Western Australia's Wheat Belt, an area cleared for agricultural land. An intensive farming has caused erosion and degradation of the soil, devastating native ecosystems and habitats for wildlife. Over the last century, over 90% of the land has been cleared, which has resulted in a loss of biodiversity, and salinity has also been an issue in the valleys. However, tree planting has become a catalyst for life and bringing biodiversity back to the system, which is helping the region immensely. Replanting native species that were previously on the land is now helping to sequester carbon, generating oxygen, 
and recreating the ecosystem. Deforestation is a major cause of global greenhouse gas emissions. Native forests reduce temperatures by creating shade and prevent drought by holding moisture in the water table. Returning our native forests throughout the world is a vital step to restoring biodiversity lowering local surface temperatures and restoring the aquifers. In part two of our Australian Regreening the Desert series, we will cover how community-led projects are helping farmers to radically transform their farming practices to become more sustainable, resilient and profitable, and in turn benefiting the environment and the community as a whole. So make sure to subscribe with the notification bell turned on to stay up to date with our latest videos. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter for more memes and eco news. And remember to subscribe to our new Spanish channel, Leaf of Life ES. We are a small team, so if you wish to support us, please join our Patreon. Thanks for watching. Until next time.